from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears says he believes the suspect in the murder of IPD officer Brian Leith should be executed. Mears says that he will ask a judge to sentence Elias Dorsey to death if he's convicted. Dorsey is accused of killing Officer Leith in April of last year. Leith and three other officers were responding to a domestic disturbance call on the east side when shots were fired. Leith later died and a woman inside an apartment was injured. The prosecutor says that he's seeking the death penalty because Officer Leith was killed while acting in the course of her official duty as a police officer. 78 men and women have taken the oath to protect and serve the citizens of Indianapolis. IMPD's 22nd recruit class was sworn in on Monday. These recruits will now receive 26 weeks of classroom and scenario based training, as well as 20 weeks of field training. IMPD says an emphasis will be placed on communication and de-escalation skills, along with learning to recognize mental health issues. Time now for a check of our forecast with Todd Clausen. Hey, Todd. Uh, Lauren, good afternoon. As we go throughout the remainder of the day, there's not really going to be much in the change in your weather. We're going to keep the clouds around. There's still going to be some patchy drizzle, mist, and a few isolated showers. And temperatures are going to hold pretty steady. Low 40s to the north and 30s uh, to uh, the 30s to the north, rather, and 40s down to the south. But as the clouds thin a little bit overnight tonight, temperatures do drop down into the 20s across the area. And that's going to result in some refreezing in spots. So be on the lookout tomorrow for a few slick spots across the area in the morning hours and then throughout the day tomorrow lots of clouds a few snow showers in the afternoon a little to no accumulation in those snow showers Lauren they should be very spotty as well all right Todd thanks so much and for more news and weather you need to know just download the WRTV news app thanks for joining us